This is my 30th year of teaching. And you might wonder whether I'm as enthusiastic today as I was 30 years ago, and I have to say yes. And it's really because um, I enjoy the caliber of student here at Oberlin. Musically, as well as intellectually, it's fertile ground for teaching and it's a great joy for a teacher here. I was very young when I came to Oberlin, so my teaching experience before that was as a teaching assistant at the University of Michigan and as an adjunct professor at Eastern Michigan University. So I was very lucky to have been hired here at a young age. Let's just work that much. So although you're softer, you have to be careful the B-flat doesn't smoke uh, in, in a bad way on the sound. That's better. Good for you. Each student gets an hour lesson, but each student also attends studio class and technique class. And there are lots of extra things that we do for the students, helping them out when they prepare for recitals, competitions. There are not many distractions, but the distractions there are are of the right amount and the right quality. Because we are somewhat isolated, we have lots of concerts and visiting guests, lots of visiting master classes. In short, I think it's a great place to get some work done and to get a first class education. <laughs> On the outside, I'm a member of the Axelrod String Quartet and the Castle Trio. Both of those performing groups are in residence at the Smithsonian Institution. So I do a lot of concertizing on the East Coast as well. And my trio just returned from tour in Holland. Um, we've done lots of recording. I've recorded for Telark, Smithsonian, Decca, Harmonia Mundi. And I think that my chamber music experience on the outside has been a great help for my chamber music coaching here at Oberlin. Oberlin has produced lots of performers who are in the contemporary uh, chamber music field today.